Hey, it's camping time. It's this time of year again. It's April. I don't know what date, 6th, I think, yep. 2019. And we got Michael, yo yo, and uh, Kendall. Where's Kendall? Hi, Hi, Kendall. And Ethan, and Justin, and myself. And uh, we're heading up the boondocks. It's still snowy out. We're gonna find a spot to camp. So far, we've seen some ducks. We just chased a deer that was trying to run me over. And uh, we saw some turkeys gobble right beside us. And so we're gonna come up here and find a spot and see what adventures await us. Critters up here. We are headed into our favorite shed honey hole. This is, uh, this is one of those no-name cricks. <laughs> Hey, what are you going to get if you find the shed, Ethan? A knife. Okay, wow, awesome. Michael said he'd pay up to 20 bucks for a knife, so twist his arm, see if he does it. Whoever finds the shed first of the kids. This is going to be epic. Good times. Could be some good sheds around here. Well, here we're trying to figure out exactly where we want to camp. Way up here in the hills. These boys are rolling rocks. A real widow maker. Uh oh, there's one right close by me. Whoa! Pretty sweet. Oh! shed or two man that would be really special uh oh I think I better move out of here these boys are trying to wipe me off the map I think Oh, I hit the tree. Oh, that is epic. This is one of the thrills of living in the mountains. Michael said he just, he thinks he just spotted an elk shed on the far ridge. There he is down there, glassing. The sucker, he always finds stuff. There's Kendall down there with him. Michael thinks he's getting close to where he spotted it. Almost at the top of this ridge here. Wow, look at these big old trees. Wow. Ponderosa pine. Amazing. This thing's probably 120 years old. Looks like it survived from some major wound at one time. Justin just found a four-point deer shed. He's up there behind those trees. That's awesome. That gets the little guys stoked. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, 
that is brush. Yeah. It's a nice farm white. White tail. That is a farm Wow, that's awesome. Super special. Wow, Camel just found another an antler. That is amazing. So far, one Justin, one for Kendall, and then we have one elk. That's three antlers, and we're not even halfway done yet. That's incredible. How many points, Kendall? Four. Wow, look at that beast. It's a nice okay, one. Okay, it's raining. We got back from our hike, and now we're going to start a fire. Hopefully, it's going to quit raining because it's kind of wet. So, we're going to start a fire so we can make some brats and some good stuff to eat. We're doing a little bit of hiking here. Look what we found. There is our wolf tracks. That's beside a boot track. Look at that, how big that wolf track is. Crazy. That's pretty fresh. Last couple weeks. One, two, three, go! Okay. Here we go. We got it. Oh, oh my goodness. Man. Unreal. 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 Oh my goodness. Woo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We had. Oh, oh, no way. Down the hill following the path of the destruction. Look at this. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is far out. Up there, I'm going to say 60, 70 feet from here, it hit the ground. It jumped out 35 feet, hit the ground right over there. It mowed right across here, right past this tree. Snapped the branch off up there, snapped the branch off and came down here and literally uprooted that thing right out of the ground, snapped it off. 16 inch green ponderosa pine. The, the top is right here and the butt is down there. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Yeah, so it hit it so hard that the top is up here of the tree and the butt of the tree is down there. It literally carried the butt down there and knocked the top of the tree, just dropped straight down. Unbelievable. Well, we're sitting here cooking breakfast in the rain. So far we've got bacon and some sausage along with wild onions that Kendall dug up. <laughs> then we've got eggs <clears throat> that we're mixing up. So we're gonna have a goulash of sorts. We forgot to get, I forgot to bring my uh, potatoes to make a real goulash. So we're gonna have to do more of a dish thing here that we're making progress. And had a good night, rained all night long, but we're pretty snug in our tent and stuff, so. Great breakfast. Uh-oh. Indians attacking us. Okay. Do our part. Yeah. Do you stay? Do you stay? Look over here, Kendall. Look at me, Larry. All right, here's our stash that we found. There's a four point Justin found. There's a bigger four point that Kendall found. There's a six point elk Michael found. Wow, isn't that pretty cool? Pretty special. After breakfast, we instead of hiking home, we decided to climb up another mountain to do some scouting. But look at this. There's elk poop right there. Not too fresh, but we're seeing a lot of fresh stuff. Look at this. This is an elk rub from last fall. This is a pretty good sized elk because he reached up there about seven feet with the tips of his antlers. So they're in this area. And uh, wow, a lot of sign. Really hoping that we're going to find something here. 
Uh, Kendall just found a really old. Um, Michael, show show me what Kendall found there, or Kendall, show what you got. Found an old whitetail, another one. That's his number two. <laughs> one yesterday, one today. Old Oldie, but that was a nice, oh, nice bowl. Right cool. Yep. Okay, you've got to hear this. This is just so neat. I don't know if the video is going to pick this up or not, but there's a mountain, um, probably a quarter mile away over there. Then there's a bit of a dip, little ridge, and then there's another one, and then way over there, a mile away or so, there's another mountain. And you probably can't hear those, but you can probably hear the ones, the echo. It sounds really neat, so listen to this. Echo! Pretty neat. But I just got to show you something here that's real special to me is these big ponderosa pine trees. They're like giant redwoods. They're really neat. I mean, there's just something special about these huge, huge trees that have stood here for many years, like 100 years. A lot of these are 80 to 100 years old trees. I'll see if I can get a better picture, but they're just tall. The bark is red. Just look at this tree right here. Let me walk over to it and show you. Just real amazing special trees. There's a fire that went through here. And I believe they logged it afterwards. And you can see how they planted trees in here after that. But <clears throat> see, that's been burnt. But these ponderosa pine trees can withstand a lot of a lot, a lot of uh, fire and stuff. Look at the bark on there. So cool, so unique. Way up there. It's just really neat to see these trees. Look at that. Ethan just found an antler just now. <laughs> Right where I was standing and yelling about the echo. Look at that, this thing's old on the hilltops, but it's an antler. Look, <laughs> that thing's like 10 years old or something. Wow, look at that. Cool, you found one. Yay, no, I'm the only one in the pack that hasn't found one yet. Oh, look at that, that's awesome. Good job, Whoa. Ethan. Here's a, another prime what? example of one of these um, trees. I mean, just look at, all the way up there, there's no limbs till you get way up there. It's like a sequoia. There's one over there that's dead, that died probably from the fire. But just all around here, there's these huge trees. It's just, man, I don't know what the, how to, it's like amazing, it's just phenomenal. It's like they've been standing here for generations. Just beautiful. I had these around in my house too. They're really dirty when they, because they shed their needles. Um, they stay green all year, but they still shed a lot. Um, but they're just neat old trees. Just, man, if they could tell the stories of what walked underneath their branches here, that would be amazing. We got back to the truck, ready to head home, and look at that. Big moose tracks. But you know what's even more cool is look at that. Wolf tracks right beside it. Wolf tracks, moose tracks. Moose tracks, wolf tracks. is that crazy? Wow. There they go. Smelt it out a little bit, but pretty neat. Heading out, but I just wanted to make mention of one thing. Even though it's kind of neat to see the wolf tracks and the moose tracks, uh, we don't really like wolves around here. A couple are okay, but they're out of control. And the, the, there's too big an area. Trappers and I've hardly ever seen a wolf even live because it's such a big area. So they're really killing the moose and the elk. So I just want to make note of that. It's neat to have a few but we really don't want very many here and right now there's too many so we got to get rid of some of them so the elk and deer and moose can survive better okay right there in the middle is an elk it's really hard to see i'm taking a video through my binoculars there they are that's a little clear two two of them looks like the bottom one might have some some spikes or a little antler still they are a long ways off they're i don't know three quarters of a mile at least or further There you get an idea how far away it is. Pretty far. 